What's up guys, how's it going? I'm going to show you guys how to download Raspbian, install it on an SD card, and then pop it in to a Raspberry Pi Zero. So if you don't know, the Raspberry Pi Zero is a little mini computer that's about this big. And it is super, super awesome, other than it doesn't have Wi-Fi built on, and it actually needs a bunch of adapters. But don't worry, I'll show you how to put those in later. First thing you're gonna wanna do is go over to the Raspberry Pi website and download Raspbian. What I'm gonna do is download the light version. Once you get that downloaded, you'll unzip it to the folder of your choice and then you're gonna want to download an imaging program to image that to the SD card. For this, I'm actually gonna be using um, an Etcher, which is a Mac application, but uh, if you're on Windows, go ahead and download the Win32 Disk Imager. I will link those in the description. Once you got it unzipped, you're gonna want to go open the application and then um, select the image that you want to use, which is Raspbian uh, Jesse Light in my case, and then you'll select the device um, and make sure to choose your SD card. Do not overwrite uh, a USB you got plugged in, so make sure everything's unplugged other than the SD card because that is a very sad thing if you overwrite the wrong drive. And then once that's done, you're gonna pop out the SD card and slap it into the Raspberry Pi Zero. Once you're to the Raspberry Pi Zero and the SD card is inserted, um, you're going to want to plug in the micro USB to full size USB and that will that's the way we're going to be plugging in our keyboard. Um, the next thing you're going to want to do is plug in the micro USB power cable to the left micro USB port on the Pi. And then plug that into the power. So next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is plug in a mini HDMI to full size HDMI connected to my monitor. After that, you plug in the Pi and it should be booting up. If you've ever used the Raspberry Pi 3 before, you'll notice this is you know, a lot slower. It's not bad, but it is definitely a lot slower than the Pi 3. And I'm gonna type in my password really quick. Now we're in. So now you can do anything you want. Um, it's not connected to the internet, but I'll make another video on how to do that later. Um, if you liked it, subscribe. If you really liked it, give it a like, and I'll see you guys next week.